So guys, why do people stop working out? You know, most times we set our uh, yearly record, we'll say at this year we have to be in the best shape ever. We have to do our fitness, we have to keep our abs nice, we have to look good, our muscles and etc. You know, the shape for the women, you know what I mean? So why do people stop working out? We stop working out because we don't know these four main principles which I'm about to share to you. And most times we know it, but we are not putting it into practice. Number one, principle number one, you don't know your goal. Most times we know that we have to work out, it's necessary to work out, but we don't know, like, we don't analyze what kind of workout, what kind of exercise is needed. Some people want it for weight loss. You don't know what exercise is needed. You don't know the goal. You don't know how to follow the procedure so follow. That is why you often feel like it's not working. The exercise you're doing is not working to what you're trying to achieve. That is the issue. We need to analyze our goal. We need to know the exercise which is needed for this. And it will be very effective if we are doing it perfectly and you will see the results. You should analyze your goal, check on your exercise. Principle number two, we make it very complicated. Very, very complicated, guys. That is the issue. Most times we go to the gym where we're lifting the weights for the bicep right now and next minute you see somebody pushing the chest, next minute you see somebody running or jogging, next minute you see somebody doing the abs crotch. It's very, very complicated and that is the issue and we should try to stop making it complicated. How can we stop making it complicated? So I was working out one time in gym, not one time in gym, somebody approached me and the person told me, uh, doctor. Uh, I'm kind of confused here. Yeah, I don't know where to go. I don't know what to do. I'm just confused what to do and where to go. I was like, okay, what is your goal of coming to the gym today? And she told me she wants to keep herself fit. I said, keep yourself fit in what sense? She said she wants her abs, she wants her hips, she wants her um, fitness level in the cardio respiratory way. I said, okay, it's simple. Divide this into different sessions. And we have one principles in physical fitness which talk about this. We call that principle principle of periodization. And it helps us strategize what to do today, what to do tomorrow, or we can make it what to do this month or what to do next week, or depending. So in this, I told her today, you're, you're starting right. She said yes. I said, go to the third me. Today all you do is jogging. Jog for five minutes, take some rest, another five minutes, take some rest, and do the third set of five minutes, take some rest. Then you can do other amazing stuff like lunges and skipping and that is the end of the day you go come back tomorrow i told her see once you come back tomorrow you want to work on your abs right go to the abs machine and do the ab workout and there is different kind of ab workout i told her to do and you want to hit your hips right she said yes i say then the following day after the abs workout you can do your hips then after you've done this chain, then if there's any other thing you think to work on, you tell me, I'll tell you how to place them and I'll tell you the exercise to do for them in a very strategic and less complicating way. And after you've done this throughout the week, you can come back next week and start from the jogging again to the end of the day. So we know we make it very complicated in the sense whereby we want to do everything one day and it will be very complicated for us. That is why we tend to quit gym. Reason number three, guys, we think about the picture and we want to just get there in this snap of the finger. It does not happen like that, guys. You remember when you want to start your school, you started from class one, class two, class three, class four, class five. If you go to the university level, you have to start from class one, class two. You can't skip from class one to class five immediately. It does not work like that. It's a step-by-step -step process. And that is what I'm trying to say here, that if you want to, uh, keep going to the gym and make it work for you you have to think of starting where are you right now think about your we call one principle we call it the repetition maximum you have to check your repetition maximum what can you do in this level what can you do in this stage and how to progress from there so in the repetition maximum you check your repetition maximum your the numbers of time you can lift a dumbbell like for example how many times can i do it in 10 times does it hurt me so much does it affect me so much if i can't do it for one um, one dumbbell lifting to 10 times repetition then know that you are not in that level you go to a lower dumbbell so you have to start from 2 kg if you're better in 2 kg you check 4 kg if you're better in 4 kg you increase it gradually to 5 to 6 to 7 kg if you're better in those then you increase it more but if you're not better in those and you think that you are not better in 5 kg then you can go to 4 kg start from 4 kg because there is another thing time we call D-O-M-S 
um, delayed onset muscle soreness. It is not known as DOMS, D-O-M-S, right? So we have to know that this kind of pains we come, DOMS we cause uh, is, a, is a kind of pain that happens post exercise after you're done doing your exercise after two three days you start experiencing some pains in your tendon in your joints so you know you need to know that these pains will come but the more you put in weight the more the pains will be there the lesser the weights are there the lesser the pain will be there and it will motivate you to keep on doing the gym exercise so these are three key component reasons why you quit in your exercise have a